Hello, we're going to be working on problem 32 from University of Physics by OpenStax. Uh, sketch the velocity versus time graph from the following position versus time graph. So, as you probably already know, your velocity is equal to the slope of your position versus time graph. That's because when you look at the rate of change of x and divided by the range of change of time, that is equal to speed. Okay. So I've drawn a, an axis and this is going to be my speed as a function of time and my time. Now I'm going to start by making some reference lines of points of interest. One point of interest could be this. Another point of interest could be that. Another one would be this. Another one would be this one. Now, these points are of interest because they're the slope of the line is zero. That means this, that your speed is not changing at those points. So I will pr probably have a point there and a point there, approximately. Now the other points of interest are this point where I could see that my slope is positive. This point where I see my slope would be negative and non-zero. This point where again it is positive. So approximately I would imagine I'll have something there, something there, and something there. This one looks a little bit more steep than that one, so that's why I made it larger. Now after that point, if I look at the steepness or the slope here, you see that it's steeper than what I had there. So I expect my slope to continue to grow. Now I'm going to unite the points that I have plotted and because my original graph is smooth I don't suspect that my velocity function would be a stepwise function so I'll join it with a smooth line. Maybe something like that. Uh, your drawing skills may be a little bit better than mine, but I think that's a acceptable approximation. Okay, thank you.